We start out small group open, ages nine and 10, in 10th place with a score of 286. 892, heard them first, Abby Lee Dance Company. I was very humiliated. We are the overall grand champions from the Starbound Nationals. Maybe the judges didn't get it. That's their right. That's what you get when you go to competition. Congratulations one more time to hurt them first in 10th place. Our group number came in 10th. We've never come in 10th place. Moving it kind of mortified us a little bit, but it is what it is. Moving on to 9th place. One point higher with the score of 287. 8-7-0, almost having candy apples dance. Step back up. Who helps you with this routine? Kathy Nesbitt Stein. Remind everybody one more time what studio you're from. Candy Apples Dance Center. There it is, your ninth place junior group, almost heaven. I'm looking around, and all of the moms have these incredibly impish grins on their face. And we know, because every dog has his day, and this is our day. I'm talking about Holly. I'm in my own world. I want to just go home. I can't I believe our kids home. didn't win. Kathy's group did not deserve to beat us. We've never, ever, ever, ever in our lives got 10th place. Kathy's dreams came true today. Finally, they can say we beat them. That and they'll leave us alone. I think the uh, last time we didn't place was electricity. Uh, amen. Uh, Shocker, the group number came in 10th. Neither one of them are dancing to their potential. My kids have not danced to their potential all year long. It's nobody's help. Yeah. 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 How are you guys? Hey, congratulations. congratulations. In all sincerity, we just wanted to congratulate you on 10th place. Thank you. We're proud of ourselves. Thank you. And congratulations you. on one point better. We saw. You are Satan. Bye. My entire reputation of this humiliated. Star Power is a big competition. The judges will be looking for technique, choreography, performance, costume. I feel great. I think we're very well prepared, and we're ready to go. Can I have everybody gather up so I can talk to everybody? I want eye contact here. There's people here from all over the place. And the reason is, this is the last regional to qualify for their nationals. So I need you to be on the A game today. You have a new solo today. You have a new solo today. You have a new solo today. I was going to have you dance in whatever the next gauge group is, 9 to 11. You've had a really easy year. You're on 8 and under, and you're 8. You're at the top of the age scale, yes? Everybody else is at the bottom of their age scale. So we're going to bump you up and put you on the youngest side just so we see how it is, all right? I can't believe Abby bumped Maddie up into Chloe's age category. It's just typical Abby. She can't let Chloe just have her day. She always has to make it about Maddie. I really don't want Maddie bumped up into my age category because I feel like I have a better chance of winning first place if we were in separate categories. Right. But we have to get ready. We have to get ready, yes. Where is? Brooke's costume. Ew. That looks like Mackenzie would wear that. that. Brooke's costume is awful. It was hot pink, and it had red polka dots on it that were stickers. It was just terrible. I don't know how we're going to come up with another costume, but Brooke is not wearing this costume on stage. That is just ugly. Does it look like 13 to no, 15 age? Like Penny, why is the clown? <laughs> Brooke gets handed her costume. It is probably the ugliest costume I have ever seen. And all eyes fall on Vivi's top. And all of a sudden, Brooke is now wearing Vivi's top. I like the top. Vivi finally gets a costume that is a custom-made costume, and we have to now share. I'm not happy. Let's get some glitter. Um, are you gonna put glitter, like a glitter on Kathy's costume? Oh, screw Kathy, I ain't afraid of her. Ooh. <laughs> How'd it go? It's good, but you know what? I, I thought about it, and 
I really don't want Paige. Paige. What's your kid's name? Move, Brooke. please. I don't want Booker in the costume. I'm sorry. I just, I thought about it, and I saw you over here floundering the way you were sewing that, and it's not going to look the same tomorrow, and we just need to come up with something else. Whatever, Brooke. Take the costume off. You know what, Kathy? If you don't want to be part of our group, you know, don't come to our studio. Kathy, it has nothing Get to do with it. Get the costume off. It has nothing to yes. do with me. My daughter is dancing in three minutes. Well, and you're I'm taking sorry. the costume I know, off. I know. It's ridiculous that Whatever, you guys Kathy. aren't prepared. Now, you want to come out here, Kelly. We need to talk. Leave our studio. I don't need to leave your studio. My no, daughter has to go on stage. I think we need to talk. Yeah. Kathy's way out of line coming up to me three numbers before my daughter is going on stage and having her take her costume off. She's just looking out for herself and her daughter. Oh, You're doing it to show Abby something. No, and my I'm not. Daughter I'm not doing hurt. it to show Abby anything. It's Whatever, just that Kathy. I haven't come and asked Kathy, you for costume. How did no, we? No, but everybody else. That's how, what we do as a group. How did we even Kathy? come to that? We always share costumes. I mean, that's what a group is about. They haven't had a new well, costume whatever. the way everybody else. Well, why didn't you come in this costume? earlier? How so many I could have got my costume from Maddie. How many new costumes have you had? It doesn't matter. Go back to your studio. You know what? I'm not. I'm here to stay. Yeah. Don't like it. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Neither well, does that's anybody your else. Problem. That's your problem. You need to like it. Well, here's your costume, and you can sew it yourself. Hire one of your sewing ladies. Well, to I sew intend it. to. She ripped the costume off of her, and she had the audacity to throw it at me. No, my daughter is going to dance in her leotard and tights. And I'd like to have one of your kids from your studio out there dancing against well, you her, because I can guarantee you, you know oh. she will beat oh, her ass I doubt it. I, I doubt it. Watch. I doubt Let's it. Let's go. I doubt it. Your kids all have sickled feet, and it blows my mind. Yeah. Because that's all you hear is yeah, sickled Kat. feet, sickled sure. feet, sickled feet. And they all have them. Let's bring your studio. You know so what? Bring it on, Bring it on. Bring it on, Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Do not let it upset you, OK? You look fine. You don't need a costume to win. The costume looked nothing like what Vivi's was gonna look like tomorrow for the duet. It was a totally different look. She just didn't want Brooke to wear the costume. I just think it was totally wrong and very unfair to my daughter. I did not appreciate it. I'm not really mad at Kathy. I wish she just would have told me I wasn't allowed to wear it earlier because she took it off like two numbers before I went on stage. So I was really nervous and like didn't know what the judges were gonna think because I was supposed to be a supermodel and I was wearing like a crop top and booty shorts. going on backstage that I think it kind of messed up my dance a little bit because I was so nervous. Oh, Good wait. job, Brooke! You did great, honey. You did great. Brooke went on stage. She did fine. I, I think Brooke dances well enough that she doesn't need rhinestones and costumes. Uh, you did great. Why are you crying? Uh, because Kathy just had me so pissed off. And, you know, you did went out. You did great. But, great. <laughs> morning, when we walked into our dressing rooms, I had no idea where my costume was. Where's your okay. mom? Because I need my top. Last night, I told Kelly that she had to fix Vivi's costume since she tore it to pieces. And she was still working on sewing the rhinestones on. If you want to dance your, at 1022, um, to... and I'm not, I'm not like you guys. I don't run to the stage after her with a darning needle. I will have it ready, but I'm not like you who takes it from the kid five minutes before they go on stage. Maybe that's when I should give you yours. I'm a lot more prepared than you are. So, Brooke, did you do well last night? Oh, congratulations, Brooke. I'm sorry. Oh, she got sixth. Ooh. Yeah. 
Book won sixth place, not because of the costume, because there were five other girls that were better than her. All right, Kathy, here's your costume. Help the rhinestones give your daughter some luck. I hate Kathy. I ended up fixing Vivi's costume. You couldn't tell I had touched it at all. Kathy just needs to keep her mouth shut. Oh, I got mail. So we arrive at the hotel in Columbus, and as we're checking in, Kelly gets a note. We are cordially invited to a soiree in the presidential suite downtown Columbus. Cocktail attired encouraged. What kind of event is this? Ah! What is it? Oh, no! A freaking apple. Oh. I just don't know what Kathy's trying to pull by inviting us to a party, but we're gonna go. to keep your friends close and your enemies closer? Well, these ladies need to see the way my studio travels. It's first class all the way. Something Abby Lee doesn't know anything about. Have you guys missed me? Well, we don't talk that okay. much about you, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I am actually excited to see Abby, I hate to say it. Do you think she's a good leader? She just wants our kids to be the best mm -hmm. they can be. I the just wolves. feel you guys would be so happy if you were someplace where you had a good leader. Kathy, it sounds like you're seducing us. Do you want us to be part of your team? Oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. How many fights have you had with her already? Oh God, I don't even know. It seems like it's a negative experience for you guys. Why don't you go somewhere where you're gonna be happy? Never in a million years did I ever think Kathy would try to poach us from Abby. I thought she hated us. Abby is still playing her games. That's too bad. What do you think about Kathy last night? What do you mean last night? We had a soiree. We had a soiree, and she was the only person there. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When I left last night, you all didn't go up to your rooms? Nope. We went, to, we went and changed. Well, I think that's really going behind my back, and I don't appreciate it. Well, what did she have to say? Because that's solicitation. She basically was asking us why we stay at your studio. She just had some not so nice things to say about you. I would never go and invite a bunch of moms from another dance studio to my room and then talk about their teacher. I can't believe that Kathy went behind my back again and invited my dance moms to a cocktail party. Who does that? That just goes to show you, Kathy is up to her underhanded tricks again, thinking it's gonna get her ahead in the competition. Not. All right, girls, let's go. Break a leg! Are you the new little girl? Yeah. No, you're you the one that said hi to me? The no, walk by? I don't think so. Oh, hey, good luck. Thank you. You know, I didn't appreciate Kathy going up to Kendall in the wings and wishing her good luck. Oh, you're the new girl? Good luck? She's a grown adult. Why would you do that to a little kid? What's up with your guys' hair? It's interesting. OK, have fun. We are going to just slaughter the candy apples. Next up, Abby Lee Dance Company with Bad Apples. dancers and all of the little apples. I was clearly represented. <laughs> I love it. I really think that their faces and their facial expression and kind of that old fashioned look really stood out during the performance. I thought they did great. Next up, Candy Apples Dance Company with Baile Espinola.
totally look a lot older than our kids. They look 14, 15. They were well trained. Their technique was beautiful. They were doing five and six turns together as a group. I am really concerned. I, I like throwing at myself. certain that our girls were going to pull it off. Your kids look really old. Your kids look big. Yeah. They looked really old. Some of them were almost my height. But it's so good. <laughs> and I really questioned Kathy's integrity, because you don't want to be known as somebody that lies about kids' ages at a competition. Abby, don't you think those girls were much older than ours? They looked much older. That's my job. I need to worry about that. You think those girls were 9 and 10 years old? No, I don't think they were 9 and 10. However. I look like an idiot that I just can't win on our own talent and I choreography and win. costuming. I, I, I have to call somebody that. out because I think their kids are too old. I'm going to have to walk out of here with my tail between my legs, getting beat by Kathy from Candy Apple. How'd you guys get that Amish hairdo? It's not Amish. Oh, you say No, you should know that. That's 40. You know what, Kathy? Why don't you go think of something good to say, then come back and talk to me? Because if that's all you got, it's not that good. They're about to announce the group awards, and I'm dreading it. Kathy's girls are good. I think this might be the one time that Kathy beats us. Third place, number 47, Doc of the Bay. <laughs> Second place, number 44, Bailey Spinola. I guess that Abby was right about the rat and the snood, because we did win first place. I guess the judges liked that. It went with the theme of the dance. I think it's time for some pork chops and applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> I like them apples, Kathy. Hi, guys. Hello. I just wanted to tell you that your red was such a nice tribute to candy apples. Or and my colors stars. have been black and red. Oh, and my since colors 19 have been red. Yeah. Whatever. And, well, 80... Oh, better give me a birth certificate on that. Mine have been uh, red uh, and white uh, since uh, mine uh, have been red and white. That woman went right to nasty, rotten to the core. The moms were telling me that you were really oh, kind you know of what? dissing me. Wondering why you. they're still with me. Just question. No, 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 no. Time out. Time out. Oh, you think way too highly of yourself, especially the way you dress. Listen, Wait a minute. You know what, Christy? Take it listen. out the hallway. All right, listen, nose. <laughs> Leave it to Kathy to take it to a below the belt level. You've done nothing but season. complain about her forever. You need to take your cheap dress. My and dress is not cheap. It's Ralph Lauren oh, there, honey. Oh, I highly doubt it. Oh. Go back to junior high, Grandma. Kathy is the geriatric mean girl. Be Abby, gone! What? You have no powers here!